Futorials. Last week we did a futorial on Nice Guys by Kev Jamba, Niga Higa, and Chester C. And while we got really good responses, we also got responses like, Thanks, but I don't even know how to play the guitar. So this week we're going to actually teach you some of the basics on how to play guitar. We're going to go over tuning, chords, strumming, and the capo. I don't want to hear excuses from you. If you're interested in learning how to play guitar, pick up a guitar and learn how to play it. You know, I've heard my hands are too small, my fingers stubby, I'm not musical. It doesn't matter. You can learn to play it if you put the work into it. So we want to hear about your progress and any other tips you need from us. So make sure you go through this, these steps and uh, look out for future videos on more things to learn. Tutorials. So one of the most basic things about playing a guitar is making sure it's in tune before you start. For those of us who have electronic tuners, you can use that, but in the case where you don't, you gotta know how to tune your guitar, right? So the one thing you'll need is a reference point. You need one string to be in tune so that you can tune the others. Um, if you're not sure it's in tune, look online for um, an E, or if you have a keyboard or a tuning fork, you can start there. In this case, we did tune the E already, um, and we're going to start there. And so, what you need to know is that the 5th fret is going to be um, the next string. So in this case, when I play the E, and I play on the 5th fret, it's going to be the A. So you can hear, when I play these two, they don't sound the same at all. So I'm going to make the adjustments to the A to make sure it sounds the same. So from there, I'm going to tune the other strings. The one exception is when you get to the fourth string and you're trying to tune the fifth string, or using the G and tuning the B. Rather than using the fifth fret, you need to use the fourth fret on this one. And then you're back to the fifth for the, uh, the last string. So once you're done with that, what I like to do is play a chord and just um, fine tune any of the last changes I need to make. There you go. Now you have a tuned guitar. Tutorials. So we use many chords in our songs, but um, we're gonna teach you these first three because they're very basic. The first one is a G. C and then D. So let's start with the G. To play the G, you start with the middle finger and put on the third fret of the E string, the low E string. Take your index finger, pointer finger, and put it on the second fret of the A string. And then the next two will be open. So don't put any fingers there. And then put your fourth ring finger on the third fret of the B string, and then finally your pinky on the third fret of the high E string. So let's take that strum. All right, now that we know G, let's go on to the C. So for the C chord, let's start with the G. All you have to do to make it a C is leave the everything else the same, but take the middle finger, move it to the third fret of the A string, and your pointer finger, and move it to the second fret of the D string, and there it is. And finally the D. Finally the D, um, you take your pointer finger, put on the second fret of the G string, your ring finger, and put it on the third fret of the B string, and then your middle finger, and put it on the second fret of the high E string. And strum. Tutorials. So the next step is learning how to strum. With strumming, the main concept is that you want your hand to be moving at a constant speed at all times. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. You get it? And so this basic strum is going to be this pattern of down, up, up, down, up. And everything in between, you're going to still do the movement, but you're not actually going to hit the strings. So you can see here on these arrows, the dotted lines are where 
you don't actually hit the guitar and the solid lines are where you actually hit the guitar. But you can see the movement of down up is there the whole time. So it sounds like this. So do that slow first, and I'll do that really slow here. So down, up, up, down, up. And eventually start to pick up the tempo. What you can do as you practice that is also learn to change the chords in between um, each strum cycle. sounding like a song. Tutorials. So finally, this is the capo. This helps when you're maybe limited in your chords or want to keep the same chord progression but need a higher pitch or a higher tuning. So how it works is if you play a G on open G, it's a G obviously, but if you put it on the first fret, G sharp. And each fret is a half step up. So if you go up to the fifth fret, it's a C. So let's put that into practice. I wrote a quick diddly for you guys, and we're going to see how to change the key without having to change the chords but using the capo. So this is a made up song. It's a little too low for me, so I'm going to change it to capo 5. This should be a little better, and it becomes C. This is a made-up song. There you go. That makes it much better. So I hope those tips help. We want to hear how you're doing, so leave a response video or a comment about how the learning process is going. Also, if you have any other suggestions for you know the next steps, definitely let us know because we'll be posting up future videos on what else to learn as you play guitar. Yeah. Check out our old videos. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And... See you next week. Next week.